I love to think of life as this great adventure. And when you think about it this way, it's easy to think about seeing the world, sailing the seas, storming the castle, saving the girl, all of these magnificent things. And we pursue these magnificent things and these incredible endeavors. And, and in ministry even, you of preaching to thousands, of going to a foreign country and uh, preaching the gospel to a tribe who has never heard it before. We have all of these great visions and goals, and they aren't bad uh, in and of themselves. But we focus so much on these what we call magnificent things that we lose the magnificence and the minuscule. Life is more about the big numbers of uh, people saved. What Jesus says when we get to heaven isn't, you must have told X number of people about me. You must have walked uh, X number of people through a prayer and for them to pray to me and then be saved. Uh, Instead, he says this in Matthew 25. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, When did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. See, preaching the gospel is important. Uh, sharing it with others and walking with them through their journey, it's all important. But it's not about searching these great numbers. Uh, It's about living a life following Christ and taking care of those in our lives around us. Often we dream of these lofty visions of going off and, you know, fighting in the trenches for the furthering of the gospel, and we miss Uh, the war we're in right here with those around us. We say, oh, I want to go off to this faraway country and help those in need, and we forget about all of those who are in need right around us. See, the magnificent isn't just in those far-off adventures. Uh, It's in the minuscule. It's in the taking care of one another when they're sick. It's in the making food when somebody's experienced a loss or or when they're sick and and taking care of them in that way. Uh, If someone's in a car accident, it's giving them a ride. In the taking care of someone's animals while they're away. It's in loving others and, and sharing with them the gospel in our lives, welcoming others into our home with open hearts and transparency, not trying to put up this great act of how put together our lives are. It's for the conversations at 2 a.m. and after church on Sunday morning. It's for loving others well and taking care of them where they're at. That is how we share the gospel with others uh, and our lives. There is no numbers listed in here as I'm looking through that says you must have served X number of people. Don't worry about numbers. It's not about tallying. I've served this person this week and this person this week. Okay, cool. I'm on track uh, to reach my quota. That's not what it's about. It's about serving the people God has placed in your life. And for some people, that might be five people. And for others, it might be a dozen. And for others, it might be hundreds and thousands. God gives to each his own calling. And our job is to love those around us whom he has put in our paths 
to take care of and to share uh, the gospel, the good news of Christ that is ultimately that he came down and loved us and sacrificed for us. And that is what we're sharing with people. And that is how we're called to live. And I have one question for you out of this. How are you going to share the gospel by loving others and taking care of others well this week? If uh, you don't know, ask. If you do know, let us know in the comments. And we would love to have that discussion with you. We'd love to encourage you uh, as you go out, uh, loving Christ and out of that loving Christ, loving others well this week.